hello guys if you are new to this channel this is a backhand syntax where we teach coding please like comment share this channel for more educational content like this today we are going to talk about a POS system developed and designed with the help of AI look looking at the login page where you can see a login box with snow falling from the top to the bottom of the page was all designed and developed using AI automation. There is no hard coding. All codes were generated and then um, all what I did was review the code, see where there are shortcomings and then fix them. So 95% of the project was done by AI, whereas 5% was done by myself. So now let's log in into the system and see what it entails. So I will enter the email assigned to me as a user. Okay, so now we log in. After this video, if you want to learn how to use AI to develop softwares, I will leave my contact in the description below so that you can contact me afterwards. And also, if you want to subscribe and use this system to run your business, you can also call me. Okay, so this is the dashboard where you see all the analytics of the page we have total revenue we have total inventory today sales users sales analytics payment methods recent transactions low stock alert and then on the side bar we will have the following dashboard categories inventory which has a drop down of add item and manage items transaction which has a drop down of add sales and manage sales reports users which has a drop down of add users and manage users S systems and then of course the logout button so now we are going to talk about the first on the list which is the dashboard i think we can all see the analytics of the dashboard where it gives you a real time of what is happening in the system so let's come to categories categories give you the option to create a new category to relate whatever product you are selling to so you can click on add category and add your category and then you can also delete category you come to inventory here you can add an inventory where in adding an inventory you need to choose a category like we did earlier on creating the category it gives you the option to bind the category to the item that you are creating and then we have item information how to go about creating the item here now we go to manage items we can go to manage items from clicking this view all items so in the manage items this will give you all the products or all the items you have in stock where you can update the stock being it deficit or new stock and then it's going to give you a quantity update history here let's get one that has a quantity update 
okay so as we can see here we have new stock 90 from 0 to 90 by Ohene, the one who made the updates the time and then the dates so instead of coming here you can also get the quantity update history here which will give you all the um, stock that has been updated being it the new stock or deficits where you get the person who updated it the new quantity the previous quantity and then the date and time that you updated you can also add a description to the update quantity that you are doing okay so we move on to transactions add transaction this is where you add sale you can call it add sales where you add sales so here you just enter the item code and press add item it will automatically pull the item from the database giving you the item name the selling price the total price the quantity available and then the quantity that you want to sell out when you are done you just click add to sale and then it will give you this summary where you add your taxes whether you want to give the person a discount and then you select your mode of payment which is cash or mumu and then you check out when you check out it will give it will display um, a POS printout from where you can print to your customer reports reports you have an option to only generate a report on a particular category or you can select all categories and then pick your date range and you give after picking your date range you click on generate report so let's go for electrical gadgets and then let's go for last month 1st of September and then the end date is 30th September and let's generate the reports it will give you the total sales if you can see here the last is on the number 20 so it will give you the total sale total quantity sold and then the total revenue generated on that particular category and then the category name where you can export to excel or you can print from here so we go to users add user this is where you add a user and give them their privileges to use the system in doing that you select whether the user is administrator a manager or a user and then mind you each of them comes with their own privileges what a manager and administrator can do a normal user cannot do so you take note of that so like i was saying if you are interested in learning how to use ai to develop a system like this i'll leave my contacts in the description below you can contact me and then we talk afterwards and also if you want to use this system to run your business you can also call me and then we talk afterwards we come to systems system this is where you can set the business name which will appear here you can choose the default currency you can set the system logo which will also appear here like you're seeing on top here so when i want to um, reset to default the default will give you the abacan tech and this logo with this default currency so assuming um, the new name is my business and then of course the currency is the same let's choose a different logo 
choose a different logo okay so let's choose this and I click on save settings you can see here the name of the business has changed the logo has changed if I click on reset to default you see it will reset back to a backhand take and then the logo will come back as it was before so this is how the system works the matrices of the dashboard and each section on the sidebar this is how they work this system is easy to develop design and develop using ai it took me less than a week to develop this system and then if you are going on the normal hard coding you are going to take more than two weeks to three weeks to develop this system so guys my my contact is in the description below like share comment and then um meet you in the next video where we will go into details how to build the system I'm out.